This is your third Army-Navy meet. What makes this special rivalry so special to you? Well, I, I think a lot of it is the tradition of excellence that they have built here. It, it, it's so inspiring. I, I know that becomes a little bit of a cliche when you say that, but it's so true that, you know, the kids and some of the coaches and some of the sports staff say, oh, you know, it's such an honor to have you here. And, and I, as much as that means a lot to me, they can't even begin to imagine how much it means to me what an honor it is for me to be here um, because I'm really around future heroes. I mean, these are these are the people that are going to be running our country and these are the young men and women that are going to be fighting for our country. So for me, it's uh, it's incredibly humbling. It really is. It's, it's sincerely, I mean that. And tell me about the competitiveness and grit that you see these two teams going at it. Well, and, and that's the that's the cool thing. I mean, you know, I, I have a, a lot of history with Navy. My, my, my great uncle was an admiral in the Navy. He didn't go to the academy, but he was a, a, a Navy man. And uh, my roommate in college, his son, Jack Dunworth, goes to school here, swims here. So I have a lot of feelings for Navy. But, you know, Army are full of heroes too, you know. And I, it, all the service academies, I feel very strong about, about the in, incredible attitude they have on a daily basis because they are the epitome of what really our student athletes all about. I mean, that's that's what it's all about with them. And not only the student athletes, but all the other things that combine that they have to do on a day-to-day -day basis is just incredible. So it was a great meet. Day Navy dominated, no doubt about it. But I see a lot of pieces of the puzzle for Army, and they're going to be great one day um, under Coach Nigro. Tell me about the talent that you see at Navy. It, it amazes me every year, it, especially, you know, uh, on the women's side, it, because the epitome of that is Lauren Barber. You know, you think Lauren Barber graduates and, you know, when Michael Phelps leaves the sport, you know, the men's team is going to go down or the women's team is going to. And they just picked up right where she left off, you know, because I think she built this attitude of winning. And, and obviously it's been going on for 25, 30 years, you know, with this streak, whatever that streak is. And and. Uh, but I think when you have somebody like Lauren come along every four or five years, you, you, it tri it's a trickle-down effect. And it's the same thing with the men. It, because of that tradition that they've built, uh, we were uh, talking to Cook a little while ago, and he said, you know, I was scared, yeah, but I also was excited because I wanted to continue that success that all the alumni have built before me. We get so many cards and letters and love from past alumni that it means a lot to us. And I think that's that's something you build on every year. You said you have that special connection with the Navy. What are your emotions once you walk onto that yard here at the Naval Academy? Hey, I wish I could I, I wish I could explain to you what it what it really means. I mean I, I was never strong enough or tough enough to even imagine going to Navy. I mean, I'm very proud that I went to school to Auburn. It was a great, great university for me and I loved it and I still love it. It's my alma mater, but this is a, uh, this is a special place. It really is. And, you know, it, it drives me crazy that we, we take uh, these young men and women for granted sometimes, I think, um, and, and for what they uh, want to accomplish in their lives. And to me, they're I just told the guys down there, I said, dudes, you're all heroes to me. I told the women the same thing. You're, you're my hero. Uh, and uh, it's, it's a special feeling, I'll tell you that. Well, we hope to see you here at another Army-Navy meet again soon. Thank you so much. I love it. I hope you'll be back.